All right, so we're back, and today I am breaking down yet another YouTube versus TikTok boxing preview. Because, guys, I made a commitment to you. I might as well have dropped down on one knee and pulled out the wedding band because we got engaged in the game. What I'm saying is, before June 12th, I want to hit every single piece of boxing footage that any of these guys have on the card. And one of the better boxers on the card that we know of is DDG. That is right, my man DDG, the Amazon package outfit wearing, boxing footage sharing, Rapping, acting, roping, doping, smoking, YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, DDG has sparring footage out and he has some training footage. We're going to take a look at both and break both down. But before we do that, guys, it doesn't matter if you're an influencer or a pro. In the sport of boxing, you must protect yourself at all times. And on the topic of protecting yourself, let's talk about today's sponsor of the video, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a tool that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location. When you connect to a VPN server, your device is given a new ISP and DNS address. Atlas VPN is also supported on all devices and includes a data breach monitor. This means Atlas VPN keeps your email addresses and your data safe from breaches and dumps so no one steals your accounts. And guys, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount on their three-year deal for just $139 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This deal is not going to last long, so be sure to check it out in the description below and a pretty cool feature i found when i'm not making videos for you guys and i can kick back and relax atlas vpn gives you access to geo-blocked libraries on streaming platform for example netflix here in the u.s doesn't allow me to see some of the titles i'd like to so i simply go to my atlas vpn app i click on the united kingdom and titles like spider-man friends brooklyn 99 are all there for me on the netflix page again guys we protect ourselves in the ring start protecting yourself online using Atlas VPN's three-year deal for $139 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, check the link in the description. Thank you once again to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get to the breakdown. DDG, sparring and training footage breakdown, part two. Let's go. All right, here we go. This jab, boom. Nice jab. Who's this guy he's boxing, by the way, guys? I, I don't know if this guy has any skill, but it doesn't look that way. Jab again to the body. That looks nice, man. That doesn't. And DDG misses this because of two things. One, it's labored. There's a massive tell behind it because he not only changes levels, but he does this wind up as he throws it, right? To get some more power behind it. And another reason, DDG's head and uh, body weight completely over that hip and knee. He's off balance. The jab looks nice, though. DDG's jab is, is pretty good. Woo! Woo! Beautiful. Again, you like to see DDG not throw his hands directly into the air and wave him like he just don't care. <laughs> he looks like one of those inflatable tube men at the car dealership that's all over the place. And he's... Again, these are very small things for the caliber of fighter he's facing, like Nate, who is probably not going to take advantage of that. But what's next is really impressive. That right there. Look at the turn in that hip. Look at him sit that weight on the back foot, right? All in one line here. Throws that hook across. It's a nice shot. By the way, I see we have a professional camera crew um, set up for this event. Is there some kind of, uh, is there a number I call to hire to hire this crew right here? For documentation purposes only, of course, but she seems like a true professional. I'm sure her resume is full of great ass uh, sets, assets, and yeah, she'd make a great addition to any team. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The, the guy that DDG's boxing has no real talent. The slappy crow hop jump step right hand. I mean, it looks like he's doing a crisscross dance move from the 90s. Can I get some water or something? I just hard nose boxing, man. We don't got no water around here. Man said, this is hard nose boxing. We don't have no water around here. Literally one, two, three, four <laughs> bottles of water and Gatorade sitting around. Man's like, if you thirsty, I'll give you a jab and right hand to drink. That's the only thing we do in here. Hard nose boxing. Woo! We watch it again. Boom! Good Lord, have mercy. And this is again. Look at DDG slide directly back. This is the danger zone. Now, obviously, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's doing. This is what could happen to DDG if he continues to just move straight back, right? Even if the, the, the entry from the opponent isn't the best. Literally, this guy, Deshae, jumps on him, like jumps toward him. Now we get out of there and separate. Woo! This is a nice shot selection. Switching up, boom, uppercut. Beautiful shot right there. That's nice work. You're supposed to be playing cool with the fuck? 
Oh, were they not supposed to be going hard? You guys said there was some training footage. We're gonna take a look and I want you guys to see the difference between his training footage and his sparring footage because those two things should resemble each other, right? He should be good on the mitts and those things that he does on the mitts should translate to his spars and to his fights. Brand new DDG training footage from Vegas. Interesting. Let's take a look. Nice work. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Very good. I like this coach, man. This is uh, this is De La Hoya's team, yeah? Yeah, Golden Boy. Yep. He's working with De La Hoya's team. Interesting. Nice. This is what we were talking about earlier. Look at this. Ford, aggressive opponent, right? Same thing that we saw from Deshae. This time, instead of flying back out of the way like the wind has caught him, and uh, he's in a tornado, BDG's gonna pop the jab and cut an angle. Boom. Off the lead foot, and we roll, yes, there we go. This is what I wanted to see from him, because now he's in position, big right hand over on the chin, and this guy is not squared up, not ready to defend himself or attack. Boom, there it is. But listen, all this looks good. I know it's mitt work, I understand that, but I wanna see him translate this to the ring, because this stuff, will make him one of the better guys on, on YouTube. If he continues to train it, right? If he wants to continue doing this, he has to continue training it. I don't know if he is committed to doing that. I don't know. So he's telling him with his lead hook, don't just throw your shoulder behind things. Use your body movement. Watch DDG load his hips here. Underneath, he loads that front leg, right? You'd like to see this stay a little bit more close so you don't have that big tail behind your hook, but they're just doing the, the, the idea of rotating those hips to get power behind it, so it's not the biggest deal. But watch him sit down with this weight on his back leg now. He's gonna set that heel down on the ground. Boom, right? All that weight from the front leg now goes to the back leg as he rips that hook straight across. It's a good shot. Watch one more time. Underneath, boom, same thing. Two steps, bop, bop, ready? Watch, come on. One, two, double step. There we go. That's nice. Nice. Ready? There you go. Nice. Yo, I like this coach a lot, dude. I like this coach a lot. All right, so quick note from the editor, which is also me. I was editing this DDG video using some sparring footage against Deshay and some of his training footage when he got to Vegas, and he just now dropped his final sparring match versus a pro boxer. I'm gonna break it down right here and we're gonna put it in the video. Like I said, we're covering everything, so let's get into this DDG final sparring match versus a pro boxer. Let's take a look. They was crying, so they said I was showing too much. Yo, DDG does show a lot in his sparring and his training, which I like, man. That takes some balls to do. The Paul brothers or Bryce Hall or any of these guys that just edit in what they look good doing, and in Bryce Hall's case, he looked like shit anyway. <laughs> but everybody else, they, they kind of edit things to make themselves look better. DDG doesn't do that, so respect to this man. Try to be accurate, don't waste your punches. Just hit, move, hit, move. When you shift, you don't spot. Just enjoy it. Basically, enjoy your training. All right, here we go. Eating off of that jab once again. You notice already, the jab is being answered immediately. Hey. Low one three action. But again, he gets countered, and look what happens once again with DDG. When he gets pushed, we've seen this time and time again. Again, he was working with his coach on this. Instead of going straight back here and putting yourself in this corner just off of the pressure, find a way to escape here. Preferably under this left hand, you could duck under, slip a shot, and then you know shift your hips, get out of the corner here, even if you have to go to the right hand, right? He's trying to push DDG either into that corner or to escape to the right hand run into the big power shot. Even still, I'd rather circle toward that right hand than be caught here against the ropes because this is what we've seen him do continuously time and time again. DDG's looking. Ooh, that uppercut's nice. Watch this. Sees the head dip. Under the jab, he sees it. Nice jab to the body here. Uppercut lands. That's a nice shot. And he gets out of the way of the left hook. This is an improved DDG, and that's a nice creative shot. Nice. Again, I, I, I do know that this sparring partner is giving him work, 
right? He's not going in there and teeing off because opportunities like this, right? Where he's here, he's gonna take advantage of these opportunities. You gotta, you gotta get off those ropes and command a little bit of respect instead of running straight back. There we go. There we go, that, that right hand. And even you hear the coach say it. Instead of being here, right? And just kind of throwing shots to get this guy off him to, to alleviate the pressure, come back and counter punch and throw this beautiful right hand. Watch this. Even if it doesn't land, look at the extension on it. Yes, he's overextended to a degree, but he gets the respect of his sparring partner by just coming off the ropes with something aggressive, the double jab right hand, and catches the opponent off. Now he has to reset, and we switch back, and look where we're at. Right in the middle of the ring, not against the ropes. That's the right I want. You land that right, you, you do some damage. There we go. Good block. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what we like. Protecting the body and right immediately. Not running around and then sticking a foot and then coming back. Immediately this right hand comes out, right? And behind that, another one. Look at the distance he covers and look at him get out of the corner here and put the opponent on the back foot. That's good work. Oh, now we're working. Now we're working. He's getting loose. Huh. The fuck was that? <laughs> Why did the cameraman sound like he did the body shot challenge to Ryan Garcia? There we go. I like DG changing the angle here, but instead of like right here, we should stop and throw that right hand. I know this guy's giving him a look, but this could be Nate Wyatt, right? This could be the, the level of inexperience we see from a guy like Nate Wyatt, where he just doesn't understand. I need to flip around and square up and face up because if not, I'm gonna get clipped and I can't defend myself and I can't attack. DDG is in a dominant position. Take advantage of this and ear hole this guy, right? Instead, we're here and we do the hop around. When you touch roll, put your hands up. Nice shot to the body. Nice right hand. Hey, beautiful right hand. Lands that one. And again, look where he throws it. Right there at the chest level is where he throws that. Beautiful. On the chin, lands flush. Nice. I like that. Countering off the jab. Sees it the first time. Boom. And that second time he throws as it comes out. That's beautiful. Steps in with it too. Right there. See? You're fine. Right there. Just keep your hands right there. Look a bunch of Coach is saying, all that, that's a block. You don't need to go way out here for that, right? You've already blocked that shot, return off of it. There's no need that once you've already blocked it, you have to fly back out of range still. Yes, to the body, yeah. And the jab behind it, nice combinations. Again, I like it. Even if it doesn't land, I like the idea, woo wee! Yes, 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 look at this. Boom, the uppercut doesn't land, but he doesn't just back off. He follows up, jab, splits the guard with the right hand. Very nice, very nice. Boom, yep, yep, yeah, 100%. That has been DDG's best combination throughout his training, throughout the, the spar with Deshay, throughout his training there in Vegas, and, and even in this spar, the double jab to open up the guard and then the right hand to break it. DDG can punch moving backward, but I feel like that shot is the X factor in the fight. All right, so there you have it. I had to get to this. It just came out today. I wanted to get you guys the full encompassing sparring and training footage from DDG over the last week or so. Like I said, mad respect to this guy. He puts out more sparring footage in its entirety than anybody on YouTube at all. This guy has the most potential in the YouTube boxing scene right now. Jake is the leader in this in this parade. Logan and KSI are there as well. Taylor Holder is, is a guy that serves a lot of potential, but DDG, I'm telling you, if he takes this seriously, if he continues to get better, he could be the next guy. And honestly, I think he tunes up Nate Wyatt like an orchestrator waving his wand while the band's getting ready to play. This man, Nate Wyatt, is in trouble. So will Nate Wyatt have a chance in this fight outside of, I don't know, DDG pulling out a fat blunt and smoking it mid-round? Or will DDG glide through this fight like a hot knife through butter? And the real question on everyone's mind, since everybody knows by now, and if you don't, I'm gonna say it here, I will not be commentating the YouTube versus TikTok boxing card in person, but will I be doing a watch party and absolutely slaughtering the in-person commentary with the wit that nobody can match? The knowledge that social gloves passed up on? The energy to replace all power grids in the United States to keep the lights on forever? Well, guess we'll find out.